good Thursday morning. That's sign language. You get it? <laughs> it's Thursday, August the 22nd, 2024 at 5.54 a.m. The temperature... Hey, Google, what is the temperature in Carrizozo, New Mexico? In Carrizozo, it's currently 66 degrees. Wrong. Out here in the boonies, it's 63. But anyway, the high today is supposed to... I don't know, but I found these results on search. You know, I'll end up firing her again. But anyway, hey Google, what is the temperature in Denver, Colorado? In Denver, it's currently 73 degrees. You know why that is? That answer is up. Because Denver, Colorado is 5,280 feet in elevation and Carrizozo is 5,580 feet. We are higher here in elevation than Denver, Colorado. How about those apples? Hey, Google, what is the temperature in Bangor, Maine? Currently in Bangor, it's 59 degrees. With a high of 73. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is 43 degrees. Pretty cool. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Brackettville, Texas? The temperature in Brackettville right now is 82 degrees. The, the high today in Brackettville is supposed to be 110. You hear me? 17 degrees hotter or 18 degrees hotter than right here. So why am I here? Because it gets hot in Texas, man. But again, it, you know, but then they have great, the winters are, you know, nothing. So anyway, what else we got going on here for your viewing pleasure today? Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, we tried to go to the Malpais, Malpais or whatever it is, uh, the old ruins, but didn't work out. But anyway, you'll see it in the video. But we did find an RV park named same thing. So we, we'll, we'll, call, we'll call that a winner. But anyway, then what else? That's about it. And today's the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It's right now. And right now, went, never worry about what you cannot change. And now we'll move along to comments on Thursday morning, August the 22nd. How about that? For some reason on my phone and on this Google Home device, I have changed the address to here, Carrizozo. And in, on the weather, when I pop it up there, it shows Springerville. And I've deleted Springerville from my, uh, see, it shows Springerville. Uh, and it's cooler, 55 degrees, pretty nice. But I, when I go in to manage the deal and I delete Springerville, uh, it, it just pops right back up in the current location. For some reason, I'm still in Springerville. So having said that, Ralph P. says, I like the rural area to live. Thanks for the scenic ride along, Rusty. The goat, goat approved. The old, where's the goat? Come here, goat. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a one-eared, plastic goat with a little battery operated thing that you press it down and it goes like screaming see it's a goat little horns on the goat but anyway that's the goat and the goat goes back here and this is matilda the trash can and that is romeo the wonderful dog but anyway frank james i love this type of video thanks for taking me taking the time to make it on the ranch lots yeah good thank you frank james jesse james brother uh, the Dogman Chronicles, I, if I am looking for a southern home base in the future, I'd consider this area. Thanks, Rusty. Yeah, it's it's a good area. Yeah, anyway. Uh, this is Dan, D. Anderson. I think if I were in my late 70s and could still drive, I would definitely move out there in peace and quiet. When old folks start getting to the hospital all the time, start going, they start losing their ability to walk and control their bowels who, who wants to live that kind of life uh, i don't but anyway you do you man do you do good francis ebicky i love to visit new mexico for vacation or even a season but living there permanently is something i would need to think about a lot before doing it well you know everybody's got to do what they got to do but anyway uh this is uh james jackson nice to know on the ranch lots 
True Texan, no thanks. Too many Democrats. <laughs> they probably say the same thing about you. Hellcat Granny. Uh, well, actually, New Mexico is almost, well, certain parts of New Mexico are red, but it doesn't matter. You don't, it doesn't matter, man. Don't worry about politics. Good God. You know, you got enough to worry about taking care of yourself. Hellcat Granny, check her channel out on YouTube. Enjoyed the drive and the view. Interesting area. Yeah, you're very welcome. Glad you enjoyed it. Dogman Chronicles says, good comment call. Thank you. Check his channel out on YouTube. And uh, this is Debbie Johnson. I would say a septic would be one of the biggest expenses. Yeah, on the ranch lot. Yeah, if you had to have a septic, yep, that would be about 10 grand, probably. Probably. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Thank you. Nomadic Free Will 1999 on the ranch lot says, Thanks, Rusty. I'm looking for a mail forwarding service. Which company do you use? I don't use anything. I had one, but I canceled it because I wasn't using it. Okay. But if I was going to use one, I would use escapees. Why? Out of East Texas. And you can pick Florida or South Dakota, whatever you want to have for a state. But uh, the reason is they've been in business a long time. They charge a little more, but they've been in business a long time. And then what you don't want to have happen is get you a forwarding service that goes out of business. So anyway, Belinda Salinas, nice green plots. After over a year of subscribing to your channel, I finally heard you say something about your living out in the Terlingua Ranch. Do you still own your 40 acres? No, I don't. I sold that a long time ago. But it was neat. Eileen Tua, my grandson and his wife are looking to buy a house in Helotus, Texas. Is it a nice area? Yeah, Helotus is a very nice area, actually. Very. It used to be in the boonies, but now it's part of, you know, like somebody, Francis points out, it, it's being absorbed by San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, I, I try and, I'm trying to get by without taking this dead gum allergy relief stuff. And right now my eyes are itching and my nose is dripping again. So I guess I'm going to have to have another shot of Equate allergy relief. You know, they all have side effects. There's, there's none of these that have, uh, that you can get by with without side effects. You know, everybody says, well, that would, the Claritin doesn't and the Equate doesn't. Claritin and Equate use the same chemicals to dry up your nose and stuff. It's no tricks. If you, if you check with artificial, a check, artificial intelligence, chat GPT and say, compare Equate allergy relief with Claritin allergy relief, you get one answer. And then if you just ask the internet, you get another one. So how much of this stuff can you believe? Very little. So we'll get us a dose of this stuff. This is it right here. This is cherry flavored children's allergy relief right here. And I, and I take the smallest dose, five milliliters, uh, once a day. And I'm still complaining about that. Here, let's take some of this crap. Here's to you, here's to me. Yuck. <laughs> James Mares says, I used to drive from Springerville to Sholo every night to work the night shift at Reed Head Lumber in Sholo. They drove back and forth and it was pretty hard work. Uh, he says, Round Valley Elks class of 1966. Well, James... You don't have to drive it anymore. Scotty Thompson, nice light green shirt, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Very thoughtful of you. This is Keith Bronson. He says that was when I was climbing the hills there at uh, Red near Red Hill on that land. He says if you do slip, roll into a ball, you'll get down faster. You know that's very thoughtful, Keith. You know, that, that is so helpful, I don't know what to say. You know, I mean, roll into a ball. That's I'm, that's well thought out. Chonky, C-H-O-N-K-Y-B, Chonky B. What city is this near? You know, you could actually find that out on your own, Chonky. But it's near Kamado and Springerville, you know. But, I mean, see, that's what I mean. There are so many things that people ask questions about that would be easy for them to just do do a, a Google search and find the answer themselves. You know, 
But again, that's the way it is. Levi Brewer, good morning, everyone, from my Outlaw Mountain Camp. It's after 12 o'clock, been working on my shed. Already fell off the ladder, hit the ground hard on my right kidney and my calf somehow, sitting out the rest of the day, maybe try it later. Way to go, Levi. The old, the old falling off the ladder trick, huh? <laughs> you don't heal as quick when you get older, Levi. You're going to find that out the hard way. Uh, efficient RVer, uh, ranch lots. He says, I don't think this one will go viral, but as you know, if you keep at it, maybe one will. Uh, anyway, thank you. Very thoughtful. James Jackson, hey, better save that hey. You might marry a jackass someday. That's what they used to say years ago. Anyway, I know you care about that. Beauregard Rippy, the listings do not detail the mineral rights. Who owns the mineral rights or does it matter? It does matter in a way if they drill out there because they could drill in your backyard if you don't own the mineral rights and you can't do a damn thing about it. But I think the ranch owner kept all the mineral rights. They usually do. Alvin Masseau, Rusty, have a wonderful day. And cheers, cheers to you. Michael Zocoli, Zocoli, I guess, kind of like broccoli, Michael Zocoli. Is this code permitted for a COO? I don't even know what a COO is. Uh, Chief Operating Officer, 806 Hurricane. Hello, Rusty. What is the email address for Eric, for this Eric person? I want to ask him some questions. Well, why don't you just call him on the phone and ask him his email address? Jeez, I left the phone number. Ethel Perry, good morning all. Good morning, Ethel. Ethel, Ethel, and Fred Mertz. Remember them? James Ortiz. Looks like New Mexico, big skies, no services. That's right. Well, there's electricity there, and they have water available. So you got those two. Uh, Karen Haynes, I wonder if you have to build or you can do the part-time RV thing. Apparently, you can do the part-time RV thing because there's RVs there. Not a whole lot, but a few. Uh, Mary Cooper, nice views. I like your place in Zozo. Has the cool temps, privacy, but yet close to cities when needed, when groceries are needed. Yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, you're right. I, that's why I'm here. And another thing I like, I've got city water and city trash pickup, which is nice. Benson Speed Shop, thumbs up. And I got a lot of privacy. I drove around looking at different places. I mean, I, I'm always looking, but no, th this is the best place I've found for me right now. And, and at some point, I may build, I don't know, build something. Why are you rubbing your eyes, Rusty? I don't know why I'm doing that. Dee Dee, good morning. Enjoy the day. Good morning to you, and you enjoy the day. And uh, we'll do a few more here. Why? Because I ain't got nothing else to do. Oh, I got somebody coming Friday to fix my fresh water tank. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, it's got a little leak when you fill it all the way up. Or when you fill it over half full, if you go above half, there's a little drip, drip. It's got a crack in the tank. They may replace the tank. Uh, it's, it's covered by warranty. Ford Lack, my 30-year-old self might have considered one, but my 76-year-old self would say, way too far from emergency services. I don't know, man. I, I don't worry about that. I never have. It doesn't mean that uh, I won't need them at some time. Uh, but, you know, hey, I, I just never, that's something I've never taken into consideration at all. Good to see, oh, Curtis Stewart, good to see you back home. Be safe and be well. Yeah, this is about as home as it gets for me. Uh, I'm in my RV on some property I own, so I guess you'd call that home. Bill Bird, did you buy one to move to? No, I'm not going to move out there. I'm fine right here. Uh, we'll do this two more here. Brian Barbie, not complaining, but noticed in the last few days that ads are being dropped into your videos, the kind you can click through. YouTube must be recognized the number of views for Rusty78609. Hope. That means you're getting paid more. No, I don't get paid anymore. Uh, Tommy G. Uh, no, they, 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 they're they a for-profit corporation. You know, they're owned by Alf. Well, they're owned by Google, which is owned by Alphabet. Alphabet owns Google. Google owns YouTube. Tommy G. Zyrtec, is, Zyrtec or something is very good for allergies. It comes in green packages and not habit forming. It's a pill. Well, we'll see, Tommy G. I'm hoping that I can get off of this stuff, you know, soon. It's, they say that it is uh, um, some kind of plant. I can't, I'm, I'm allergic to the pollen. It's uh, ragweed. That's it. But anyway, guys, from Carrizozo, New Mexico, Zozo, on a Thursday morning, 
Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. Use the, oh, yeah, use the Amazon link in the description of my video. It's just a generic link. You click on it, go to Amazon, then you buy what you want. Then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, all that stuff. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deep. Breathe out slowly. Relieve stress and uh, lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yeah, do it several times a day. Look at my hand. Anyway, what else? Uh, uh, stretch, swivel, walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier because of that one thing. And then what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your head, your brain, you know, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye bye, hasta luego, bye, can deal, aloha, until the next video, and on and on we go. Yeah, next week, uh, the temperature will drop 10 degrees for the highs and five degrees for the lows. So it'll be like mid 80s, or yeah, in that range, and then the lows are gonna be in the 58 to 60 range. Wonderful. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.